Well, number one then from the 2015 Advanced Hire. The binomial expansion, but not the one you'd want. So, not the complete expand it out, which is going to be so tedious. You'd much rather have the just find a particular term. But if that's what you get, you just have to get down with it. So, oh, another thing that you notice from this, not just this marking scheme, but from other ones is, they don't seem to indicate you're going straight in with the binomial coefficients, just picking it out from Pascal's triangle. So that you could just put in 1, 5, 10, 10, etc. They seem to want you to put the whole lot in. So putting down the combinations for the binomial coefficients. Well, there's nothing else you can do. There's going to be six terms. Each of the terms is going to have three parts. I'm going to have to space it across here. So if I just put in 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, that should be enough space there. And each of them is going to have 1, 2, 3, May not be enough room. And then, well, these are the coefficients, so it'll be 5, 0. And then this will be the first term, so let's just copy that down six times. Oh, it's just awful. And then that's the second term, don't forget the little negative. And then finally put in the powers. So it's going to start with this, that's going to drop down, so 5, 0, 4, 1, 3, 2, 2, 3, 1, 4, and 0, 5. And after you've done all of that, you get the first mark. And the other three marks just come from doing all the arithmetic here. One for getting the powers correct, another one for getting the powers of 3 correct, and then the final one for getting them all correct, more or less. Another thing to notice is, that with these binomial coefficients of power 5, they're all 5s and 10s. So that with powers of 2 and powers of 3 and multiples of 5 there, nothing's going to cancel down anyway, so that part's simplified. Anyway, now it's just a case of plodding on. What will I do first? I'll just do them all one at a time. Yeah, I'll just leave that as 3 to the 5 just now. So it's 1 times that, that's obviously times 1. Then it'll go to 5, because that's the next one along. And that'll be x to the 8 over um, 3 to the 4. But that'll drop to a 2 over an x. And that's a negative, so I should have anticipated that and put plus. This time it'll be a plus. And this time it, drop, it drops up to 10. But that drops to 6, and it's 3 to the 3. And that'll be 2 to the 2, and that'll be x squared. Now it's an odd number, so it's back to minus. That's still a 10. So now it's x to the 4. 3 squared, 2 to the cubed, x cubed as well. Then the next one is back to a plus, because it's an even power. And that drops to a 5, and that's an x squared. And that's a 3, just to the power 1. And that's a 2 to the power 4, and that's an x to the power 4. And finally that's a negative again, an odd power, and that's back to a 1. And that's just a 1. And that's going to be a 2 to the 5 over x to the 5. Now, according to the marking scheme, I've not actually sorted anything else out yet. I've got the binomial coefficients, but I've not simplified the fractions and I've not simplified the powers of x. So I'm not sure if there's a mark in that line, but my final line's going to be my final answer. That's going to have to collect all three. There must be a mark for this bit. And so the final line's going to be what we've got. That's an x to the power 10, and 3 to the power 5, 81 times 3, 2, 4, 3. And that's a minus, and this time it's an x to the 7. And there's not a lot you can do, I should have left room at the beginning. That's an 81 underneath, and a 5 times a 2 is a 10 above, and nothing's going to cancel. And the next one I'm going to drop to power 4, so x to the power 4. And it's down to 27 underneath, and that'll be 40. Minus. Now it's down to just x on its own, and that's down to a 9, and that's 8 10s are 80, and now the x has gone underneath as an x squared, with a, down to a 3, but that's a 16, times a 5 is another 80, and then finally I've got 2 to the power 5, that's 32, over x to the 5, and that's where the last two marks will be. And the only thing you can really say about this question is, it's so tedious for the four marks. Now another thing that you can sometimes do when you've got x's appearing in both terms, is to take that out. 
there's not actually going to help much in this question because what you could say is this if you've got x squared over 3 minus 2 over x I'll leave the power of 5 out of it just now you could reduce that just to a 1 by taking out x squared upon 3 leaving just 1 but of course if you did that I'd have to divide by an x squared so it'd be over x cubed and multiply that by 3 so I've got 6 so if I had that to the power 5 it could become this to the power 5 so instead of this expansion, you could have x to the 10 over 3 to the 5 and just multiply out this one to the power 5. So that expansion would be simpler because there'd only be one term in each because of that one. It would just be these this fraction here going up from 0 to power 5. But the problem with doing that is, and then afterwards you still have to multiply it. And the problem is you've now got common factors, so there'll be cancellings as well. So in this instance, it's not actually worth doing that.